Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're shooting Winchester Silver Tip Defense Tip 150 grain out of the 300 blackout. And here's the box for that Winchester Silver Tip 300 blackout load. Let's take a look at the factory literature on the back. You can pause and read all that if you would like. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual ammo though. If I can get the box open without ripping it in half. And here we go. Nice, dingy looking brass as per usual on Winchester. Is this rust? Hold on, let me look at this. Let me look at this. Up. All right, so we've got like some, see if I can get it to focus. There we go. I don't know what we got. Cause, I mean, it's brass. Does brass rust? I don't know. It's got like some like rustish looking stuff on there. Who knows? So here we go. The brass looks absolutely terrible. Um, the bullet is plated and we've got a big old ballistic tip. It looks like we'll see how it does. I know that, that the brass, I mean, I'm sorry, I keep harping on it, but Winchester brass just looks like it came out of uh, 1800s English forge for some reason, like something out off a of Pink Floyd album cover, you know, with smoke coming out of smokestacks, stuff like that. Someone in there, you know, not making any money, having to go to the bread lines after work, you know how it is. Um, yeah, the brass always looks like trash. We'll see how this does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 300 blackout, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20 round magazine cuffs. Pop that open, you've got a 20 round magazine close at hand. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch rifle into the perfect truck gun or camp gun. Coming around to the other side, I've got my wild boar design on there. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. It'll be linked in the description and the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester 150 grain silver tip defense tip out of the 300 blackout. And we managed to capture two bullets right here towards the back of the second block. The third shot, oh, there went my tape measure. The third shot came down here, went into the second block, and then zipped down under the table somewhere. So we're just going to have to use these two for our analysis. And as far as penetration goes, we got some very deep penetration. We got about 29 inches with that first one. And then the second one is kissing 32 inches. We'll give it 32 inches. That is some phenomenal penetration out of a 300 blackout. It'll be interesting to dig these bullets out and see what their expansion was, or rather lack thereof, which may have contributed to that penetration. But coming over to the first block, a lot of people like to look at this. So I'm going to start including it if I remember. We do have some wound cavity, that shock cavity that opens up as soon as the bullet hits and starts expanding. It's nothing, tro it's like, it's nothing catastrophic. I mean, this is not a very powerful cartridge, so you're not going to see some sort of just monstrous wound cavity there. But we do have a little bit of fragmentation. There's one of the silver tips right there. And then there's another one of the tips right there. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the bullets. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Winchester silver tip defense tip 150 grain bullet from the 300 blackout. Our high was 1885. Our low was 1872 for an average of 1879. And here are those Winchester silver tip defense tip 150 grain bullets from the 300 blackout. Weight retention wise, we saw 134 and 138 grains for an average of 136 grains retained weight. That's 91% weight retention. Kind of no surprise there. From all the 300 blackout loads I've tested so far, they do tend to have pretty high weight retention, and I think that's just due to the relatively low velocity. 
Now on to expansion. We saw 0.7 inches and 0.48 inches for an average of 0.59 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 1.9x expansion. A little bit variable with these bullets. Now on to velocity. Our high was 1885. Our low was 1872 for an average of 1879 versus the factory build velocity of 1900 feet per second. So we came in 21 feet per second slow, but that's pretty darn close to the build velocity. Now on to penetration. We got pretty darn deep penetration with these 29 inches and 32 inches for an average of 31 inches of penetration these bullets didn't do horrible all right y'all time for my final thoughts on the winchester silver tip defense tip 150 grain load out of the 300 blackout that's a mouthful of a title 91 percent weight retention so weight retention's there that's something i'm seeing with 300 blackout across loads they tend not to shed a bunch of bullet weight Makes sense, the bullets aren't going super fast. Expansion, 1.9x expansion with this load. A little bit inconsistent though, between the two bullets that we recovered, I wish I would have been able to recover the third one. One of the bullets was expanded quite a bit more than the other, take that for what you will. Velocity wise, we were pretty darn close to factory spec. We only came in 21 feet per second slow. Pretty good, I'm happy with it. Very deep penetrating, 31 inches of penetration on average. Now what would I use this ammo for? Personally for me, I wish it would have expanded a bit more and maybe hampered that penetration some. All in all, spec wise, it hit the marks across the board. It did okay. I wish I would have recovered that other bullet. Take it for what you will. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me how can you be a part of this and help support the channel. Well I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video. Where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel. And our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.